our tale of the tape for this middleweight matchup. Both fighters are 28 years old. David Branch will have a three-inch reach advantage. With the introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. Six wins, one loss, standing six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 186 pounds. Fighting out of Brooklyn, New York, David Branch. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record, 17 wins, three losses. Standing six feet tall, weighing in at 185 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Krakow, Poland, Tomas Gorilla Drabal. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Herb Dean. The veteran Herb Dean, our referee. Tomas Drabal against David Branch. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. We are underway. Branch in the red trunks. Black trunks for Tomas Draval. On paper, it would look that Branch has the better striking and the better submissions. Branch is very smooth on his feet. Uh, really showed some excellent striking against Gerald Harris. Just was not able to deal with Gerald Harris's wrestling. Draval is not the same kind of wrestler, is not the same kind of striker, but he's got big power and tremendous heart. Sixth UFC fight for Tomas Traval. Branch moving around the outside. Looks to catch Take a down. leg. He does. And this is what Branch wants nice and early in the fight where both guys are dry. No one's slippery. Branch moves into half guard and he will pass very quickly. Three-time Pan American champion David Branch. Look at this. Draval setting up a triangle. If Draval can get his left leg across the top there, look at this. He's trying like he's very close to a triangle. Dave Branch is recognizing that and pinning down his right. So he's keeping keeping the weight press on the right butterfly of Tomas Draval. But if Draval can sneak that leg out somehow, that would be a huge upset. Still wants it. Yeah, yeah, he's trying very hard. Dave Branch recognizing it, though. Pulling down on the back of the head, trying to control Branch, and now Branch is out. Well, that's where the Brazilian jiu-jitsu experience of David Branch comes into play early. He's having a bit of a hard time passing here, though. He's able to come real close a few times, get into half guard, but Javal just hip escapes and pushes him right back in. Draval obviously aware of the jiu-jitsu skills of Branch and has been training very hard in that aspect of his game. Now that's been one of the things, Joe, that you and I have witnessed over the years is how much more well-rounded the modern-day mixed martial artist is. Because if you don't have skills in all the disciplines, you're probably not going to survive very long. Yeah, there's, there's no room for anybody with holes in their game at this point. Still, Branch lands some ground and pound, unable to pass, though. Which is kind of shocking. Branch, just some shots to the midsection, trying to soften up his opponent. See if he fakes and goes for a big shot to the head. Slides his knee through again. Well, look, Javal immediately gets that right knee up in place again. And the best Dave Branch has been able to do is just get here to half guard. And Draval doesn't stay satisfied with this position. Hip escapes again and pushes him back to full guard again. I mean, that's what he's been doing. Good control of his opponent who's in the top position. And there he goes. He gets that knee up again. And Branch is fighting it. So Draval is uh, showing good defense on the ground, showing good guard recovery. Branch unable to get a dominant position on him. Draval has spent a lot of time over the last few years training with Dean Lister on his Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt Lister UFC veteran. Branch just can't get that leg free. 
Still over a minute remains here in round number one. Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. If Draval continues to hold on to that guillotine, if Branch can get free, there's a there's a choke from that position, but Branch nope. able to get the head free. Branch is working to get some distance, and look at this. Traval neutralizes him enough to force the stand-up. Big deep breath by Tomas Traval. Yeah, and he turned his back there. Traval pushes forward and clinches. Traval knows that if he can get a takedown and land some ground and pound here, he could perhaps neutralize the advantage that Branch had in the round. Branch did get him down, but wasn't able to do anything in that position. If Draval can get him down, he could, uh, you know, and land a couple. Oh, big knee. And pushes forward with the right leg. Caught him on the knee at the end of that clinch. Final seconds of the round. Looked like he was going to set up the Superman punch. See David. No right kicks at all. Okay. No Just right. Going first round. First breathing. Recovery first. Taking the heart right down. Breathing deep to your stomach. Conditions looking fantastic. You're in great shape. You lost that round just by position. Okay. Just keep in position. You need to replace and scramble off. No right kick at all. You can use the inside. No right. No right kick. He's, he's timing that right kick for a takedown. I need hands. I need boxing. Put pressure. Go. Secondly, if you can't get that near side underhook, far side underhook, just as good. Play between them. Put them in a dilemma between the underhook. So we're ready. Back, back, back. David Branch, Tomas Traval, round two. Branch with the knee late in round one, working out of the clinch. See if Branch opens it up a little bit here. Branch shoots for the takedown, doesn't really fully commit to it though, and Traval stuffs it. Traval is physically strong. Yeah, very, We've seen that yeah. before. Very, very powerful guy. Initially fought at 205. Yep. Stopped by Tiago Silva in his debut in a really back and forth war. Fantastic fight. This is definitely a better weight class for him, but he is very strong at this weight class because of his experience at a higher weight class and because of the fact that he's just, just a bull of a man. Started martial arts training at age nine did the native of Poland had a 13 fight win streak early in his career Joe 17 and 3 overall trying to fight off the takedown of Branch here uh, Branch is uh, very low on him now this is bad for Javal and he got him down now what will he do from here before in round one, as you mentioned, Joe, Draval did a pretty good job of neutralizing it. Well, John Donaher was giving him some pointers in the corner about passing, about battling for underhooks, and telling him that uh, an underhook on either side will be adequate for him, but just trying to give him some pointers on how to get past the guard of Thomas Draval. He's keeping weight on him here. He's got to be careful, though, when he was in the half guard in, in the last round. He was stood back up. Oh, now he's in trouble. Now he's got the back. A lot of time Javal, to work. Javal recognizing this and trying to keep a base, trying to shake Branch off the top. Branch is high here. This is not good for Branch. He's too high on the shoulders, Mike. And what he's going to try to do is shift his hip backward. Javal is going to try to shake him. He wants to shake him and shake him off. Still working. Very difficult to, for Branch to move backwards. He's got to get his hips backwards towards Draval's hips. If, his, if Draval can shake him forward, now Branch is in a better spot. He can get his leverage better, and now he's out. And immediately in pursuit was Draval. 
Traval did not let that scramble last very long. Well, that was an awesome opportunity for Branch, but he was unable to capitalize on it. And that's what shows you the technical aspect of the ground game. It was just simply a position of him being too high on the back. Once another takedown does Branch. Trying to get low on those legs again. Just over two minutes will right. remain here in round two. I guarantee you we can't He's take him board. down. Let's what go. we're not going to see from Branch in this fight is him pulling guard. Let's That's board. what cost him in the Gerald Harris fight. He was slammed onto his head. Doubt he'll ever do that again. Herb Dean keeps him moving. At this point, javal has got to be thinking, what do I have to do in this fight? He's had virtually no success in the stand-up. No success on the ground except being able to survive. Oh, Traval is got knockout power. Very heavy-handed. Yeah, with his punches and with his knees and kicks as well. Knocked out Cesnalevich with a brutal knee. Uh oh, got poked in the eye. Unintentional. I don't understand. Let's take a look at it here. Yo, oh, yeah, no doubt about that. Come on. Come on. Gonna take a look at the eye of Tomas Traval. Herb Dean is gonna bring in the doctor. Hey, Paul, let's go. Let's go. Can you see? Yeah, I can see Paul. Huh? Here we go. So the fight continues. Checked. They're swinging with a little more intention is Traval. Dave Branch has really got to work on those takedowns, Mike. You know, he's missing the driving double that you see from a Chael Sonnen or a Josh Koscheck or even a George St. Pierre. He's, uh, you know, he's got to really work on that aspect of his game. He gets a hold of the guys and they, they can shrug him off too easily. I mean, he's been able to take Traval down, but Traval's got it figured out now. It's making it much harder for him. Traval switches up his stance here, Joe. And he tries to lead with the left. Clock ticking down on round two. Again, swinging with the combination for ball. Well, since that short stop, right ball has tried to turn up the pace. He got caught there, as you mentioned. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, Hope. Grab a seat, David. Nice change of direction at the end of the round. Use that more. He's tired. You're tired, but he's tired. From the situation, don't forget the fundamental rules of shoot box. No more than four seconds in front of the man and set distance. Okay? On the ground, you're doing a great job of going over the knee line. Try to get early. Put pressure. You're stopping all his takes on that. Put pressure. Deep breath, keep that pressure up. You can finish him, but you got to come out strong. Okay? Okay. All he's shooting is a double. Third and final round, Branch and Draval. Over there. Over there. Draval turned it up, opened it up a little bit more at the end of that second round. Branch takes the center of the octagon quickly here to start round three. And again, and Branch there. telegraphs that and he doesn't commit to it. You know, oh. They both connect. Branch uses those strikes to close the distance. And Branch seems very aware of the power of Javal, Mike. You notice that in the stand-up? He does not want to get hit. 
Well, you mentioned down. the Cessna Levich punch, and we've seen it from Tomas Draval before. And again, Draval manages to get full guard in the takedown. That's been the most surprising aspect of the fight is that Dave Branch has been uh, unable to get a dominant position even once. I mean, he had the back, but even when he had the back, it really wasn't the right spot. He was, he was too high on it. Good control again of his opponent's posture for now. And in the scramble, Draval gets back to guard again. I mean, Branch is definitely trying to get past all this, but Draval's doing a really good job of getting those knees up, hip escaping, and keeping himself safe on the bottom. Draval has not gone the distance in a fight since 04. So over three minutes remains in this fight. Now Draval looking to take Branch down. See if he can work from top position before this thing is over. He's got a good body lock on him here. Branch pushing away from the fence, and now he pushes Draval back work. against the cage. Work. Right away, let's go. I'm gonna break this. You need to work. Watch those knees. Watch those knees. Taking a look up at the clock. Stop. Draval just took a big look at the clock. You know, you gotta think Branch is winning every round. Which makes you think that Draval is gonna look for a big heavy hand here. Switches his stance up. See if he throws that straight left again. He looked for it earlier. One of the things that John Donaher was telling Dave Branch in between rounds, do not stand in front of him for more than four seconds at a time. He wants him to keep moving. He wants him to keep giving angles, keep him guessing. Draval sets up southpaw again. Putting the pressure on his opponent here. Under two minutes left. But again, Branch is able to control and get Draval up against the cage. He's going to try to break down the legs here. You know, as we said, he's got to be ahead on points, but he's not really coming close to finishing this fight, that's for sure. Looking for his first UFC victory is Branch. <laughs> And Javal would love nothing more than to pull it out in the last minute. We're just about at that time. Javal stalking him now. Branch is dancing around trying to use that four-second rule that you talked about, Joe. Right hand. He changes his stance a lot, does Javal. And then comes in with that left. That takedown by Branch is so half-hearted, you know? He just kind of gets halfway into it and stops there. It was Branch who landed a knee earlier. Thirty seconds. It's worth, come on. And now less. Well, you know, this is, I mean, if Branch pulls off this win, it's a good win for him. It's, you know, it's a, a name opponent, but it's certainly not that impressive, and it's not what people want to see, you know? He's not trying to finish this fight. Not taking any big chances. And they go the distance. And you hear the booze. And here you see Dave Branch catching the kick of Draval and taking him down. Managed to take him down a few times, got him up against the cage there. But he's definitely shown some things that he needs to work on. Landed a good knee there on Draval, but really unable to put Draval in any serious danger. And, uh, you know, he's a talented guy, but he's got some things he needs to work on.
Here's the official decision from Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score this contest 30-27 on all cards, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, David Branch! The unanimous decision victory for David Branch! His first win of his UFC career.